Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Micro Investor, where we do technical analysis, price predictions, and news updates on many different cryptocurrencies every single day. Uh, now, in this video, we're going to be talking about Algorand and picking up where we left off in the previous Algorand video. Now, first, let's look over at these uh, current price movements that we've been having with Algorand. As uh, we've come down recently within five waves from the FTX fallout, we were seeing the price of Algorand recently in the beginning of November at a price of around 45 cents. And then we had come down from that within five waves. We had a, a, a decent sized price movement uh, to the downside for going from that 45 cent price all the way down just recently over these last few days ago uh, to a price that was a little bit under 22 cents. So we saw a, a, pretty significant decrease within the price of Algorand. It dropped more than uh, 50%. And now there's that possibility that we have reached the bottom. No guarantees yet, of course, but there's a possibility that we have reached the bottom. And now since we've had three days in the green, that we could be transitioning here uh, into a possible more uh, bullish run. As we look at Algorand, as the price had come down already in five waves coming down from a price that was above $2.85 back in the uh, month of November of 2021, had come down within these five waves, and now there's that possibility that we have reached the bottom with it, and that would be uh, very big if we have, because then there's huge potential here for a possible 10x gain for Algorand. Now, this recent price dip that we've just got, uh, this has taken Algorand below its 20-day moving average. So we're still under that 20-day moving average right now, which we've been under since the um, 8th of November. So we've made these attempts so far to try to break through. It hasn't succeeded, but now that the different moving averages are all coming down, which Algorand was also making an attempt to break through that 200-day moving average just before the whole FTX fallout had taken place. So there were some big things currently in motion uh, just before the price of Algorand had really come crashing down. So if we are in fact going to start uh, transitioning here into a more of a bullish chart, then there's this possibility that Algorand uh, could start breaking through these different moving averages and start retracing, not just from the whole FTX fallout, but of course, from where it was at back in November of 2021. Of course, this is going to take time. It took a it took more than a year to get down to its uh, newest 52 week low from its all time high that it had back in November of 2021. So in this case, I do expect this to be something that could be drawn out, could take us probably into 2024. So do keep that in mind. I'm not talking about anything here that's going to see any sort of quick retracement within the price. Uh, there could be things that uh, could take a little while to achieve. But my main goal right now uh, with looking at Algorand is uh, to hopefully see the price of Algorand go back to where it was at least within 50% from this whole FTX fallout. And that would take it to a price somewhere around the price of, a, say, 31 cents uh, to possibly 35 cents if it was able to do such. So if we we're able to hear... Uh, within these price movements that we have with three days so far in the green, if we were able to continue this momentum and get Algorand uh, sometime by the uh, by Christmas, I'd say, by the third week of December or uh, within the first week of January uh, to be able to start doing this retracement and at least recover within 50%. So try to get up to that price of uh, uh, somewhere around 30, 35 cents would be ideal or at least go above where we're at within this wave four that we had from the whole FTX fallout. So I'm looking at Algorand here on the hourly chart. So uh, this recent price movement that we have here from the 52 week low that we recently just reached on a Tuesday or Wednesday, uh, December 7th, and looking at how uh, we managed to actually over these last few days, see Algorand's price go up a decent amount. Uh, let's see how far it is in percentage wise. I managed to go up about 6%. So if we're able to see this type of momentum continue here, which uh, we're seeing Algorand attempt right now to get to its uh, 200, uh, 200 hour moving average. So if it's able to pump through that, we might be able to see a little bit more uh, price moving with that. And that would be able to help us see more of this retracement. So as far as how much Algorand needs to actually go up to even get to uh, retracing where it was within this wave four uh, that it was at in the middle of November, then we're going to need to see a, a decent sized price movement, which some people would say could be a bit far fetched. But at the same time, um, I, I wouldn't think so. That would be seeing Algorand go to a price that was uh, up about 40% from where it is right now, which 
I think that there is a possibility to see such a, a scenario play out with Algorand. And that this, this would be over these next two weeks from where we're at right now, if we can be able to reach that uh, that price. So go somewhere within the price of, say, uh, 31 cents is where I'm looking for Algorand to actually go to. So I know it's a bit crazy, and I know some people might disagree with that. But it's crypto. Uh, we're used to seeing a large price movements. And then, uh, of course, a lot of volatility in general. So um, this is where I'm at right now. This is what I'm hopeful that we're going to possibly be seeing. But, of course, uh, anything is possible. And we can even see Algorand go one more leg down, which uh, might happen as well. But hopefully this momentum that we have going on uh, can continue. And we can be able to see Algorand continue working its way up in this direction and uh, be able to hit this price target. So we'll have to see how this all plays out. I'm hopeful that we're going to start seeing some sort of recovery within the price. Now, of course, I'm talking about the price of Algorand just moving a few cents. But at the same time, this is a, a decent sized price movement when you look at it percentage wise. But um, Algorand's price has come down significantly from the F, not just the FTX fallout, but from where it was at within its all time highs. And I think that if we were to reach a bottom, then there would start to be uh, some sort of retracement to start happening. As uh, lately, there's been a lot more people talking about Algorand, it's been gaining some popularity. So I'm very hopeful that we're going to start to see some of this retracement start to start to happen here soon. And of course, as we get into uh, 2023, that'd be a much better year for it. But Anyways, that's uh, that's currently my update with Algorand. Uh, I'm very bullish on Algorand and hopeful that we're going to start seeing some sort of upward momentum. I keep in mind my own personal opinion. None of this is financial advice, but I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions about this. Where do you guys see Algorand going here in the short term? I would like to know. So that means to please like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, new content coming out all the time. I talk about Bitcoin and Ethereum every single day and many other altcoins as well. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one.